Have you throughout? Oh, live on YouTube or Facebook? What's the best? I, I think YouTube, and then you get more YouTube plays. Yeah. Choose a cam. I think it's that one. Game brain in that one. Do we go live now? Yeah, oh, sure. Hold on, hold on. If I go live, I'll get me a link. Uh, You're going to send me the link to the live? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just do Gmail. I'm going to do Gmail. It's YouTube. Or just Messenger. Sometimes I think I'm oh yeah, it's YouTube. I've got to watch it if I've got YouTube and it's playing, yeah, you, you get a double, don't you? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. And then like you get double feedback and everything. Yeah. Right. Five seven five subscribers. Oh, there you go. It'll be hard to catch that. Yeah, I have been quiet lately. Right, okay. So, oh, uh, <laughs> first link is when did <laughs> it would be like. Yeah. I tell you what, she's well down to earth when you meet her in person. You'd be surprised. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can see that for sure. I couldn't, but then when we had a meal all, all day with uh, Susan and uh, what's the other one? Uh, they were, we, we were there all afternoon. I was even. I was even them all. That's the link. Uh, That's the link to our live right now. No, no, I don't. ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's me. Right. That's Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. I'll go live in a minute. I'll have to send you a link when I do it, but I'll just set up global so I can do it quite quickly. There you go. That's that. Broadcast. When it says go live, you'd think you'd have a link before. And... Yeah, I know. You're going to go back. Yeah. It's got preparing to go live now. So we'll have to not swear or anything. No, now we are. Now we're live. Are we live? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. We're streaming on YouTube. There you go. It's been a while since we were last together. Last time we were together, we brought um, Big Man back into heaven there. That seems so long ago, doesn't it? That was um, quite the mission. You know, I'm live. I can't see it. <laughs> Yeah. I think there's like a live section even in, in the YouTube where like your live YouTube is. Yeah, that, that sounds like. <laughs> so I'll put my thing in there. There you go. All right. I'll share that on my Facebook once it comes through. Yeah. It's freezing here. That's why I've got fire on and it's still cold. I've got yeah. Did did you send me the link? Yeah. On Messenger? How old are? No. <laughs> I forgot. I I am old. There you go. Ah. Hey. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to Facebook. And post this link, let everybody know that we're live now. All right, it's that simple. Link below.
Uh, okay, so I just posted it, and then I'll just make sure that it's not, I tagged you in it as well. So let's see here. Double check, and if anybody wants to share it. Um, edit post, edit audience, public. Dave. All right. Okay. So it's been uh, since October since we last went on our missions together and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a while ago. We've both been pretty so busy. Already December. Yeah. 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 Merry Christmas in advance. <laughs> and, I, and I picked, before anyone noticed, I said something's going to happen on the 27th of November. Yeah, I got that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Never oh, put dates. That? Never put dates on. So what it, uh what have you been up to in the last couple of months? Uh quite a few things in the last few weeks actually. I think I, I think I mentioned that one of my uh relatives died. And yeah, really it's good. funny, loads of things have been happening around me. I had a plate land on my head before. But when you when you go, sometimes you, you like a bit of fun. <laughs> so, so you do but she the person's going to be uh um um getting rid of the trauma of a death and then she's going to hopefully work for us at the healing center is one of my spiritual teams that'd be good wouldn't it yeah she's and pretty also, young too right like so you're hmm? she's pretty young it was like she left yeah. pretty early, right yeah 31 so uh i'm trying to sort that out which should yeah. be good and person has been amazed at how many aliens work with me. Yeah. She was amazed at how many aliens work with you? Yeah. So, yeah. so when, once you do go... I'm surprised, see, she I'm surprised she didn't call you an alien. I'm surprised she's... No, I am an alien. She's not your true colors, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. And I've, I've also been working with uh, symbols and, and energies. So, because I was supposed to start at the school teaching ge a sacred geometry but I haven't but I've been working my aspects have been teaching me that like if you want to do a protection in the auric field you can focus on say something that you feel protects you like it could be this isn't pre-prepared it could be like a Celtic cross or it could be like uh, I haven't even got one got a pentagon and send energy into it and source energy is good because you're protecting the auric field. And auric field is like chi energy. And send say central sun into it and then send it into your and then send it into your aura field. And if you feel like you're getting attacked, if you're very spiritual and you you're doing a lot of spiritual work, you will get attacked. It's, it's you know, the more work you do, the more you're noticed. And sometimes you need to protect yourself anyway. And that'll protect your auric field from uh any any beings that want to feed off you to get on with. And also I've been doing flower of life. Have you noticed uh differences since like Lucifer was brought back to heaven? Have you noticed changes and stuff? I've noticed it's gone it's gone more quieter actually. So yeah I have noticed. Yeah there's a lot less densities out there. Yeah it's gone quieter. <clears throat> mm -hmm. so, yeah, I noticed that, and I've noticed um, there's just more energy, like a lot more, like a lot more energy to tap into and everything. Like, I'm sure you've been tapping into more energy. Mm. Yeah, the universe has been giving me a lot of work at work. Though. So, yeah, right. so I've been having about three hours sleep a day, which is uh, less than I normally have, five hours. <laughs> so, oh, but, are you doing, are you still doing like a lot of like missionary work? And stuff or are you helping people? I, I i i've been doing the 3d work at the moment so but i have been doing i still do go to the evening center and uh it's been it was a lot happening on tuesday a lot and it this per an eva actually saw saw her and she looked like a whirlwind and she'd moved as she took out some of it caught the back of me she moved onto the chair and uh just sat there watching the evening so uh, all I hope is for people that, that go to uh, go to the non-physical, anyway. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well I think it's fine because it's like I think all the main missions are all like completed now. Mm. And um we just welcoming in the new era basically and just like what I think contacts pretty soon. Like I think this whole thing with um this galactic meeting and galactic contact is I, I think the I think I mentioned the reason why we're here was to stop the reset. And the re if we stop the reset with our reset, which is an ascension reset. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think the uh, dark ones were going to turn us off basically. That's my opinion anyway. Yeah. Because we starting to wake up. And the more we wake up, the more less control we have. We oh yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> It's like this whole awakening has already happened, so it's like they can't stop that unless they can, like move time back and backwards, or we turn it off, or we do some mass, massive disaster. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that's, you what, could, we, that's, that's what we normally do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some any disaster. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we have like so many different galactics now, like. Like when I take my dog out for a walk now, I always take her to like this park. Um, like in an hour, I'll go with her kind of a thing, right? Maybe an hour and a half for her night walk, go to the park. It's dark out. And for the last number of weeks I've been going, I've been seeing, and especially lately, um, I'm seeing so many different light ships, like, and they're flashing. <laughs> Here, 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 here. Hey, get here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Like one slashing over here, but then there's one. I'm over here, but then I'm over here. Oh, hey, what about me over here? It's like, and then, and then it's like these, uh, the sky gods started coming down from the sky and I started becoming aware of them and they're like present. Um, so it's these galactics, these starships, and, and like, so the galactic ships. I haven't seen a physical ship yet. But I'm seeing the the light ships. The light ships are flashing. So the, I mean, they could be physical ships, but I think they're more like etheric light ships that are flashing. You know, mm. and um, and it's cranked up a lot. And like when I'm connecting, so I'm, so I take my dog there, and the dog does the business, and I'm walking around, and and then I connect my energies to the light ships and stuff, and I just tune in and. The, the common message is always like, we're preparing, we're getting ready, we're preparing, we're getting ready. And it's like, um, you know, like, it, well, stop trying to psych me out already. Just like, just show up. Okay. Like, you don't have to keep, like, just like, let's do this. The dog say to you, come on, it's my time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the dog's like, the dog looks up, beam me up instead. Beam, beam, beam. <laughs> yeah. so, we, we had a, a ring around the moon. Did you see that on my Facebook? It's the supposed to be a ring, like a, a shadow ring, a bright light around it. It's quite amazing. But I, someone told me in America they had it as well. Yeah. Around the moon? You said? Around the moon. Yeah, like, like a. Oh. When you look at it from your eyes, it's about, about that far from the moon. It was a big black shadow all the way around it. It's quite amazing to see. That's yeah, interesting. Someone one of me, my sister one told me. So I thought I'll go out and I went out and I could see it. It's amazing. Oh. I noticed there was some kind of different energy coming around the moon. Mm. <laughs> it's very uh it's it's just vibrating bigger as well. But I guess everything is, you know, so um busy at work, so that's good. So money's coming no, in. No, it's not it's not good. It is good <laughs> that way. <laughs> uh, uh, especially around the holiday season right mm. and that's good i had another aspect contact me and i've forgotten it what it is <laughs> the crystal <laughs> aspect or which oh one? i tell you what's work is working me and what now actorians are working with me the who? Since actorians are working with me a lot oh i see since, since i started doing this flickering and doing their light language i've seen yeah. to be noticed by them so I've got like two beans, Andromeda's and the Actorians. It's quite amazing. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's mostly Syrians been coming in for me a lot lately. Like literally like all of the time. There's Syrian ships around me. There's Syrian energy. There's like so much Syrian. And then like coming to me, like so, I don't know if you saw my video I made, but 
it was kind of cool. Like this one, like blue started out as a blue master energy and I tune in and it's a Syrian master. And she's like, she goes, I want you to deliver a message to people. I'm like, what? Like, what, what is it? She goes, she goes, everybody's got believe in you guides. And like, and when you connect to them and you bring them onto your team of believing in what you believe in, you get this combination energy of belief from them and you, and it like multiplies and it helps with the manifestation and everything. And I was just like, whoa, that's pretty cool. And then, and so like, then I'm like calling in my belief. She goes, no, 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 don't just call in your belief there within your heart. She goes like, open up a portal light in your heart. I'm like, okay. So I like um, do that. And then they, and then she says, now call them through your heart portal. I'm like, okay, I do that. So they start coming out and then connect them to your dreams, connect them to your, like what you want to manifest your beliefs, what you believe in and your faith fields and all these different things. Like, uh, so I started doing that and it was so profound that I made a video of it. And then like, I shared it on my page and I just thought I've never heard it before. Uh, I've never heard anybody talking about the believe in you guides um, ever. Uh, and I thought it like, to me, it feels like magical, like angels, like angel magic in a way, like where you have like, it, where it's just special, you know, like it's like a really special thing. And the fact that a Syrian um, etheric master told me about it, like, I took it pretty seriously. And I spent hours on making this video. Like I spent like at least two or three hours that I really wanted this video to look super good and like represent like what she told, like the best that i could like i, I did the without hiring somebody i did the best that i could like i even did animation on it like this is the first time i ever did animation on a video like to show like this orb flying around and making the syrian like coming in and moving and light on her and stuff and so i spent some time and i know they're pretty happy with the result um this one lady replied on my post and she said I was meant to see this, like, she goes, I've been literally practicing this the entire day. Like this whole day I've been connecting to this and I'm like, it's amazing. So Syrians above me, that's one night I was out with uh, Korea there, uh, out in Ontario and I met her kids. And um, there was four blue Syrian ships flying above my head in the sky and they were going, like like in almost like in a pattern it's for here it's for here and they flash like a star like a starship they flash like a star <laughs> blue star and there's four one two and then three four and they make like like a cross pattern or something and it was going on for about like half an hour and then there's this like yellow i think it was a yellow i'm pretty sure a yellow disc type of ship that kept flashing going here going here going here it's there and like so, it was, and then uh, when I went inside, uh, Korea said, "I look like I'm blue." <laughs> she goes, "You look like you're blue." And I'm like, "What?" And I goes, "It's just." She goes, "Yeah, you look like you're blue." And it was, it was kind of funny. So, for the past two weeks, the Syrians have been literally, um, all around me and hanging out. And so, you got a new galactic friend. Yeah. Um. So the galactic energy is definitely stronger like for mm -hmm. sure for you and for me so that, that's like a common thing that's increased for both of us in these last little while right yeah well what I've been, i have done as well which i'm probably not good doing it i, I started changing contracts with people on their cash -up. so if someone comes here to sign a contract to have an experience and they've experienced it why can't we change it while they're here? Yeah. So I've done a few of them. At the end of the day, if you've got a serious illness for five years, you've experienced it. Why can't you get over it? So actually manipulating the records, basically. But what gives them the right that I can't do that? If the person here wants to change it, it's their will, free will at the end of the day. Yeah. So... I've done a few of that. <laughs> so I'll probably get in trouble when I leave. Well, you know, it's love base. It's like we're in another age or another timeline. And um I think it's good to be able to like empower ourselves to be able to make changes like that. And I mean, and one level if if it, if you're saying like 
that we signed these contracts and this is what we agreed and stuff. But then when you think about it, um, it's like, well, we're in an age where we're supposed to believe in our unlimited self and our and come into our light and into our power. And there's a million different timelines. There's an infinite number of timelines. So if we're coming into our light, we're coming into our power, then why can't we just shift this contract out and jump on that timeline where we created a new contract? I mean, it only makes sense that that's allowed because it is an infinite number of possible timelines. It doesn't stop, right? So why couldn't that be a possibility? It has to be a possibility, right? So the I, only I, I, I crossed it out and signed it. Yeah. <laughs> Initial bit. <laughs> Archangel approval. <laughs> stamp. I rubber stamp it. <laughs> well, we'll see how much your rubber stamp holds in the course of the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be being prison for. A few He's years. using too many rubber stamps. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk to him. I don't know. He's done really good on the missions. Yeah, I guess we'll just let it slide. <laughs> It's funny. that's funny yeah and um what else is new yeah what what have you what are you up to at the moment you, you, uh, you've created a group wow <laughs> or is that a yeah. secret one <laughs> yeah no no it's a group uh shift in your alignment created with kriya because we're going to be doing these events she's like my divine partner and um it's crazy i gotta tell you so like um the craziest things happen with us like not just energetically in these portals and stuff but it's like we'll shape shift together and all of a sudden we're both elven master beings or like um or these other beings that we've been in our past lives it's really weird and so, like, what is we hanging? Have, have you have you ever seen yourself in the mirror do that? That is wacky. I mean, I, when I was a kid, I used to do that, and I used to shape into this like a lanting three hundred year old being with a beard and everything. I was seven, <laughs> seven at the time, and my sister had seen it. So yeah, I used yeah. to try and stare her out, and one day she said, "You just shaped, you just changed." Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. So, so that's been pretty wild like for real like we're totally different people but like we're aspects of ourselves all of a sudden like, um you, we, you've merged you've merged with it with being haven't you? and that yeah place has come out yeah yeah that's that's it yeah I've, I've i've actually started merging with more than one at a time that's crazy yeah and that's because sometimes you need the abilities of more than one yeah, well, sure. That yeah, makes sense. I've just uh, found this, by the way. I made this at the school. My dowsing rod. These are normally dark brown. It's the chakra one. I oh, nice. That. You good. made it. I, I made it. Yeah. So those are gemstones, like crystals, real crystals, or? Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are. I've I've manifested them into real ones. But so. well, you can like reprogram them anyway, right? It's just yeah. matter. Yeah. And it, I painted them down for well, this is the really like the uh, uh template, you know, this is the first one I made. Uh, that was quite good. That's amazing. What be what how do you what are you change into? Do you change into like a light being or uh like kind of demigods? Like yeah, we did that. And then Elvins. And there's one other like terrestrial being we changed into. It's just it's far out, man. I think it, it was like Syrians or something, but it was like uh, a lot of times it's happened now <laughs> when we get together. It's just like it's so weird. Yeah, go uh, on, man. Do it now. No, you can't do it, Will, can you? <laughs> uh, I think you're not allowed to, actually. Yeah, I think it just happens. It just happens, and then uh, mm -hmm. you notice it. We talk about it, and that's just like it's, it's like when we see each other our skin's different like is it like a different color different texture and like and, and then like it just completely different beings it's the weirdest thing i i was a medium uh was elfing these on a paranormal event and she willed this uh like it's like a king of the woodlands eight dimensional being into her 
And he was linking up to all the beings to keep alive. And he willed it into her. So I said, look, I've got to connect to this and take it back. So don't look at me face. Just don't look at it. And she looked at me face and she said, it, I was completely alien. And it is the weirdest experience. And this is a medium. The weirdest experience she's ever seen. But I took it back. Uh, I think it was me, Atlantic, me, uh, me, you know, me, God, magic, God of magic being. Yeah. Because you've got to get into that vibration to take it back, basically. Yeah. It, it comes yeah. through a Ouija, it come through a Ouija board, doesn't it? <laughs> eight oh, dimensional yeah. being, eight dimensional being gets lost into a Ouija board. Through a Ouija board. <laughs> so they're not that bad Ouija boards. It, you just got to know how to use them. The problem is you can get. Yeah, I mean, you, if you use them for the good, right? But like people like they just call in spirits like are, that are around and like it could be bad spirits it could be good spirits you, well, luck it off. depends on the person's vibration that too yeah if, if they're in low vibration you're not going to get a good spirit coming through oh, <laughs> so, oh yeah get in high vibration yeah oh yeah it's true but it, it, this being was like it was amazing it was like bamboo air had ooze on it uh, it was a very, very, it was like a woodland being. It was very, very, very high vibration. It was very amazing. But it was dying, basically, because it couldn't handle our density. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, no, it's not sense. easy. It's like, uh, it's like getting into like a muddy quicksand. If you're like, mm. you know, if you're higher and you come into this frequency, right? That's why like it takes yeah. so much for light beings to manifest and like, I mean, I've only had light beings actually manifest in front of me once in my entire life. Like where they, I've had like holograms. I've had holograms. Uh, like, so they're obviously on a ship and they, and they're making a hologram of themselves. Mm -hmm. And so that's different though. Um, yeah. But this being connected with all the women, what does that say to you? He connects yeah. with all the women. We connect, he connected with five women, none of the men, just the women to keep alive. And they were becoming ill. It started affecting their health. But we oh. didn't do any men. But as I'm cutting the cords, uh, the lad who got me in there started being ill. <laughs> it connected to him. So I realised I had to take it back. I had to take it back yeah. to where it came from. Yeah. And that was a journey you now. Yeah, it's so interesting, all the different things that we come across and learn. I mean, that's a good one. I mean, we've had to do everything in order to like like uh liberate this consciousness on this planet it's like use all of our gifts calling everything that we are and that also was always good practices like in all of our missions that we've ever done and I mean, we've had to have done at least 50 missions if not more like probably a lot more than that but, but yeah i look at earth as it's it's a prison but we don't we haven't got any chains that's what it was when, when we were born basically it was, a, it was a farm, energy farm prison, but we didn't, nobody know. You know, if you don't see it as a prison, you don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it was definitely like that. Like, a lot of people call it like a uh, a school for consciousness. <clears throat> but it's it definitely was a prison, for sure. I think it's not a prison anymore, but, like, there's still people who are stuck in, like, um, the prison type of, like, programs, you know, like the the conditioning belief systems of society and government and all these different things that you just get more waking up just more yeah. the more, the more waking up we win by default someone what, what someone once told me you know I admire if you get one of the controllers one of these families to be on the light side we win that's all we need yeah we don't have to fight them we just have to bring him to our side well we've done that remember we had that mission where we had that where we cleared out those draco bases and um yeah, yeah. the north pole there and then yeah, I, meant, I meant the uh government you know the government puppets. oh yeah, yeah. well i mean good. there's like the reptilian government and then there's like the uh the cloning the cloning dark guys and stuff like that too right who just keep uh, regenerating into consciousness transplants and stuff like that so that's been going on for a long time you never get it perfect though that's, 
a lot of times you can tell if they fault, they do, they fault, they fault, make faults a lot, especially uh, people with I O. So. Oh yeah, yeah, no. Sometimes it's just like it's brutal how they clone. But yeah, I mean, I think it's all coming to a, an end. All of it's really, I mean, I, I, from everything that I'm seeing out there, reality's changed. Uh, the energies are great. Um, the density is really minimized down to like a very decent, like there's not all these. There's one thing that happened that was crazy though. Um, this past week, actually, I just did an event today to, to help clear it. Uh, like a whole group of us got together. Um, it was an event I did and uh, and it would, I, I was doing these healing sessions last week and, and, uh, these people were struggling with like these anti-positive versions of themselves, like this, like the, it's almost like the antichrist of self. And as I'm seeing it as them in a different form, but I know I, I like, it's their energy signature, it's them, it's their consciousness, but it's dark. Right. And it's like coming and it's battling them. And it's making them like not motivated, all these different things. And then, so anyways, like I wouldn't have thought anything if it just was like one person, maybe two people, I would have been like, but it was like five people in a row. And I was just like, what? The divine never gets me to do the same thing. Like you, it's you, so rare. I even do the same thing twice. It's like, but I have done the same thing twice, but it's rare because usually it's all these like one-to-one -one sessions are always so unique, but every session, everybody was having the same problem. And I was like, well, this has got to be a big issue. And then, so then I thought about it. I was like, well, it makes sense. You know, we're coming to the end of the ascension and like the last enemy is ourselves. I mean, that makes actually a lot of sense. Um, you just gotta let go, heal it. And so the problem with it though, is these anti-positives of self have been around beyond this universe and they follow through. And so I had to go into all of these universes and basically transmute them and so we ended up doing that with about like near 50 people today and then what we did is uh we tr traced one of the people on the call was connected to the first one the first anti-positive aspect or whatever so we went right after the first one and then like hopefully it's like the theory if you, you kill the first vamp the first vampire and everybody turns back to normal or something but uh, that's just a theory i don't know if that, if that actually worked or not that's what we did. <laughs> I'm really hoping that vampire theory is panning out. <laughs> You'll know soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good luck, but yeah, I know everybody um, pretty much reports back who's gone through it just feeling super positive and obviously. Uh, so that was a different thing altogether. I mean, but now I think other than that, it's just. Um, enjoying the life waiting for this galactic contact to be more like it's going to be it's happening more right but i think it's going to be more like i think we're actually going to have like actual like touchdown earth wide here we are um now let's make this planet right because it makes sense like that the real only like one of the only ways if we we're going to do this fast to make everything right, we would have to have more technology, different resources, replicator technology. So nobody's starving, making water sources. So nobody had goes without water, you know, and just everybody being provided for. So like these technologies have to come. And, and I think the galactics are just waiting for our consciousness level to hit like this critical mass kind of a thing. And I'm sure that we are real close. I mean, like, we are like really like 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 a hairline to the finish line kind of thing. I'm pretty sure. I, I have been out, I've been trying to stop the uh, weather manipulation. Yeah, I think it needs it. To, uh, that's why the weather at the moment is a bit crazy. Nothing to do with uh, global whatever you call it. Just manipulation. Well, when it, when we, in my opinion, in my opinion, YouTube. But when we were into a room, right? Uh, we did this mm. massive like Mayan clearing, yeah. and uh, the guides told me to create this like huge funnel 
like a in the sea and fill it up with all the light of the gods right i'm just gonna start spinning it to like cleanse off the mayan energies and like the next day there was this hurricane like <laughs> and then it was coming i was like oh sh oh no <laughs> right because we're sitting here at the restaurant and these huge waves are like going all the way past the sandbar and up to like like near like where you like like we're we're wondering if like oh man are we going to get evacuated i'm just thinking what did i cause i'm like oh my god <laughs> right and the winds were just crazy the whole week after like insane winds uh but they were cleansing they were cleansing winds clearly so like but all they were really doing was like clearing like the mayan um like the, the darker energies of, around mexico and stuff like that and, well, um, I, I had a, a mind curse on the arch chakra, and this is a point, if you've ever got any trauma from past lives, a lot of times you can clear it because the people around you are linked to it. They would be linked to that trauma, so you can clear it a lot easier here than anywhere else. And the person who runs the singing bowl on the further, it was his aspect that did the mind curse, because I... I uh, I did something wrong to the king's daughter, yeah, on in yeah. mine, and he asked him to do a curse. So we had to get together spiritually and clear it, and it cleared. Now I already had it cleared inside, but I didn't have the trauma clear because me twin twin got rid of it. But I need it broke it broke the spell. But I needed to clear it all, you know, so everyone works, and it was cleared. And that was this year. It was quite amazing to. I, I thought I'm doing a singing bowl meditation. No, I actually ended up in my end time around this uh, fire. And the king was asking his aspect, Who's it? who am I? Because I was in like my format here. <laughs> yeah. So it was a bit odd for them because I don't think they'd ever seen someone, you know, you know in our colonization. Quite really crazy. <laughs> yeah. Interesting how we're always synced up. We're both doing like Mayan clearings in the same year. Mm. It is strange though, but mine was a uh, mine was because uh, I wasn't good to a uh, king's daughter. I think I was just going there on your behalf to kind of clear up the dooms that you've created. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, Phil feels he's definitely cleared all of his karma. I'll just go and make sure there's any residual left over from that lifetime with the princess. <laughs> yeah, if if you ever have an affair with a Mayan king's princess, don't dump it afterwards. You should. <laughs> it's too powerful. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were definitely um, a lot more connected back then, and yeah. they had the knowledge of the extraterrestrial races too. And so, but in the uh... I've been cha I've channeled information at 3D physical dragons that are still here slightly, but they've gone to inner earth. But 300 years ago, you could see dragons in the sky. I've been told that. Yeah. So one of the resets got rid of them, but they've now gone to inner earth. Giant. Do you remember that time back in, I think it was 2020, that me and you, when we did that big dragon ceremony? Do you remember yeah. that? Mm hmm. And the next, oh, I remember night, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the next night, I had this dream uh, of uh, a reality that looked like it was the future. And we all had these watches on, they're frequency watches, right? So you adjust your watch to the frequency you want to be in. And so they're showing how when you adjust it to 430 hertz, then the dragons can't like. But you're tuning in your dragon frequency to the 430 hertz, so then the dragons become visible. Ah, yeah, I can believe that. Yeah. And uh, and then we're running around with our dragons, and they're and like 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 this adventure that we're going on, and uh, we're all playing with our dragons in this in this futuristic world. It looked like Atlantis, really. It really looked like Atlantis. It might have been. Like... It, if anyone wants that, uh, David's PayPal is. <laughs> Yeah. Funny. Yeah, but anybody wants this frequency watch. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be worth a fortune, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, wouldn't that be like an amazing invention? 
the well, UV... I, I connected with the dragons with, uh, I can't remember, it's on a video, and I actually cracked the room. So when you start messing with uh, dragon's breath and start connecting with them, you've got to be careful with their power. Half room me back in the house. Yeah. yeah. I'd only wallpapered it a week before, but half inch crack went right, right top to the bottom. Yeah, no, no, it's real, real business. Dragons are uh, very powerful. Many of these dragons are doing like consciousness transportation from like one universe to the next universe or just taking from over here to Earth. Like it's basically like an airplane for consciousness in a way. Um, these dragons, they're, they're fascinating, very fascinating. I, I think what they did here, I think they reduced the frequency about 300 years ago from one of the resets, and I think that's why the dragons had to go. You can't handle that lower frequency on the 3D physical. Yeah. Maybe we should do like a bit of a dragon mission. Maybe we should just do like a bit of a dragon, go around and eat the rest of the bad guys. That, that sounds good. <laughs> slowly. Eat them slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I feel like a final dragon clearing or something like that. Maybe that mm. maybe they'll take us somewhere like on because the dragons are like they just know where to go. Maybe they're somewhere they'll lead us. That sounds good. Emerald Dragon Order. Yeah, that's who we'll call them. The Emerald so, Dragon Order. <laughs> uh, my uh aspect is from the dragon clan, and that's where Doman's from. And I had visions of when I went to the uh, magic planet to get the magic spark that Merlin had, actually, which is what an aspect. Yeah, I remember that. It's with you there. And uh, was that with you? Yeah. Yeah, we did it after, didn't we? We went there. Yeah. And that was quite. That was quite mad. Quite mad. When I first went there, I, I could see people getting taught. It was like at Harry Potter. People getting taught magic. Yeah. You know, magic themes. It was great. It's mad. Yeah. That's the sort of school I would have liked to have been brought up in. Well, you know, we have been, right? It's just we're here now, different school. Me, on my birthday, my sister bought me that one of these. That's I cool. Think it's resin, resin, but remember, it doesn't matter if it's plastic, it can still be used as it's intended. You can reprogram it. Mm -hmm. When yeah. I took my kids to uh, Walt, Walt Disney and went, sorry, I've got your vision in your mind, sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yellow Disney shirt. <laughs> and uh, I took him to Harry Potter and me, me uh, son was saying, are any of these real? And I, I was getting the Harry Potter ones and looking and feeling, and all of a sudden one started working. I said, this is real. I can feel the energy coming through it. All the others... The blank, it's like weird. Unless I reprogrammed it. So did you what keep, do you fancy? Hmm? Did, you, did you keep that one or that one? Yeah, we bought that one. I don't know where it, it disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Everything yeah. I, yeah. They do disappear, fortunately. Every, everything in our house disappeared. One of the only things that I think hasn't disappeared is my staff that I've made. I've been almost hmm. every all my crystals. I have no idea where like the, all they are basically. I, like I see some of them around here, some of them around there, but like my favorite ones just gone off somewhere doing other things. I don't know, it's come back one day, I guess. But yeah, no, I don't know. Like we'll just like um, let's see. Uh, maybe we'll we'll like we'll connect to like some uh, kind of like dragon dimension in our heart or something, and then um. I don't know. Why don't we just channel it and just sort of see where they want to do? Like, we'll mm -hmm. just kind of make us. I, I do know that. I'm feeling it, it, like it. maybe we should like. I'm feeling like, like the gods, the dragon gods. Like, I, like I'm feeling like. That's cool. Like they're standing on. They're like these super powerful, like golden egg eyes, emerald, everywhere, dragons that like stand on these god pillars in like like these higher realms these sky realms like where they're just like 
like the fortress kind of like but i don't know for sure i'm just getting that kind of like super well, powerful dragon energy yeah well, one of me early ones and if we connect with them probably it was rainbow dragon but it wasn't quite physical it was like crystal physical it was like both together really. I think it's when the uh, source was experimenting how to be cut out to get physical beings. Uh, well, how about because you always got one half a minute? Why don't we just quickly yeah. drop in and we'll do some channeling quickly? We'll connect with the light. Okay. Uh, we'll call in all of our dragons and then uh, I'm just going to connect and then I'll see what messages you get, what I get, and then we'll put them together. And that's probably what we're supposed to do. We yeah. always do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People, I bet people think this is all planned. This is not planned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, I had the inner for the dragons. I've also had rainbow dragons. So these, these are pieces that might be knitting together. You brought up the dragons. So see how it goes. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, so everybody out there, we already created sacred space. I like connecting to the light, so I'm just breathing it in. Well, I guess I'm calling in my Ascended Master aspects. And my dragon aspects, my infinity, and my loop breaking dragons, dragons who break loops and programs. I think the, they're okay. I think we're going to be breaking some uh, program barriers in high consciousness. Um, anyway, let's just see who. Okay, so immediately they're pointing to the star, star dragons. They're showing star dragons, star dragons, dragons of the stars connect to them. Um, they're huge, huge beings just tuning in. Okay. Um, so what I got um, just now is these dragons, these star dragons are going to show us different barriers that are still on the earth that are like fields, if you will, that are like protecting, not protecting, but hiding maybe different forces that are still trying to control and divide and conquer and all these other like die harders. And they might be still ones that are like controlling the children and all these different networks. Um, yeah, programming. Yeah. yeah, yeah, programming. yeah. So like we're going to like basically ride these star dragons and our dragons um, in around the globe. They're going to take us to these areas and burst all of these like force fields and stuff like these barriers i don't know where they are but let's see it needs to remind me of like if you get all the jewels on earth and stick them on a dragon they look like that yeah yeah they're really fascinating these dragons i think we can merge with their fields of light PSAC. These are the dragons the masters ride. These are the dragons the masters ride. All right, so we got the Ascended Master Council of Light hopping on dragons. This is never, I've never seen anything like this before. We're all going to go together. So everybody get ready. Um, yeah, join us. We're going to go to, we're, we're going to go to like kind of Mars quickly um from these stars and we're just gonna like totally blame them with our dragons there's the beings actually still 
densities. There's still some densities. We're just going to be clearing off Mars first quickly with the masters. It's okay. Clearing off. The solar glow. The sun dragons coming to help out. And I can I can actually see beings alive on Mars though. Wherever we told the ego. A lot of them are underneath. Must that be in in a hey. Mars? You're releasing it's a bunch of dark consciousness. We're just releasing it out of Mars right now. Yes. We're just shooting out of the planet. We're just the dragons are transmuted and the ascended masters. There are some like demon demonic energies, but so nobody has to worry though. The ascended masters have this impenetrable field around us. And we're just we're just everything's getting brought back to like the central sun and then source light and clear this huge clearing is happening actually. It's almost like a whole bunch of the demons went over to Mars, like they're hiding or something, they're planning. I think they're planning some kind of like um, so we're just stopping the plan. We're transmuting them all into light. The dragons are bearing super high frequencies now and blasting source light through all directions of this of Mars planet. So it's, everything's just getting cleared off. It almost looks like like a like a Halloween and like the ghouls are all flying out of the planet. You see that? Like it's just yeah, so weird. Like, like Ghostbusters at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I've been told like. Earth is like the art chakra of, of our, our galaxy, our realm. Mars is the sacral chakra. There we go. I'll just be told. You. you know, while I'm doing it, I'm actually feeling pain in the chakra. Must be clear in me. Oh. Okay, everything seems quite calm now. On Mars, it was a little bit crazy there for a second, but it was just, we have so many masters and beings, and we're just getting more and more landing on the planet now, like, we're just converging, like, the light's all converging and just lifting everything up completely into, like, starlight field. So the thing, the thing is, we're connected from our, uh, Earth, we're connected to our, our crystalline is connected to our, from our, of course, so it'll help us. Even before we actually some around. animals like or like whatever these things are they look like weird looking scorpion being beasts or whatever they are um but they're at, there's habitat on mars that have been affected yeah. by consciousness and stuff so we'll just heal the hearts of all the consciousness that are, any animal or or any being that's still there we're just going to heal the hearts all the hearts on mars so, they have all the ascended masters here in the, the Emerald Order and the Dragon. So we're just going to go through all the tunnels in Mars and just, just blast everything with this light and go through the... I'm actually just tuning into the dragons as they're going around. They have like a Halls of Amenti of Mars, an Akashic Record of Mars that's here. Uh, there's like a whole inner base inside of Mars uh, that has been hosting many different species traveling here. Uh, and the lights here, uh, different. Now we're having different um, advanced races showing up um, that are already here, actually inside of Mars. Um, they're not. They kind of look human, but they're not. They're a lot more um, distinguished and advanced. I think they're the original. They're, they're like us before we got manipulated. Right. Right. So it's just well, the DNA whole, strands would take. They have like a whole inner uh, reality inside of Mars. It's interesting. Um, on the outside of the planet, it looks pretty crappy, but on the inside of the planet, it doesn't look so horrible. There's like vegetation and and uh, plant life and stuff like that. It's interesting. Yeah, the inner Mars is really nice. Yeah. Beautiful place. Yeah. Everything seems pretty peaceful right now. I think, uh, well, maybe we should connect to something here. Like, what are we supposed to, why are we here? Like, why are we going to? You must have like a crystalline mask. Ah, we're going to, we're going to change the frequency of Mars. Like you're saying, you nailed it. The crystalline core of Mars, we are going to bring in 
the higher light of the Emerald Order, to cleansing off the consciousness, but healing the Akashic records of Mars, the wars of Mars, all these different um, invasions that have happened, all these different um, plans, these densities. There's just so many densities um, that have happened on Mars. You know, it's clearing them out. Yeah, a lot of us have had uh, aspects that died on that. Died in war. They want us to do the same thing like I did in Mexico. They want us to create this huge, huge hurricane-like thing in the middle of Mars and just cleanse off all of the consciousness throughout all time on Mars. So let's just do that. It's like a golden tornado kind of thing, Phil. Yeah. We're going to Probably worth linking it up to the Mars grid as well. Yeah. The elements, the water, the air, the ground. Cleanse it all, cleanse it all, cleanse it all. And with all. This will help us because that just so I was connected to the emotion of the planet anyway. Like portals to me. Right. So now there's some more to do on Earth. Um, so I'm kind of like actually in inner Mars at the moment, and I'm just sort of this um, the tectonic plates have shifted um, on Earth. What are they talking about? Um, what does that have to do with anything? All right. Part of the plan with the weather is to change the. Signature the plate movement in the ocean. We got to stabilize the frequencies on Earth inside of the uh, crust inside of the ocean. Uh, uh, oh, what is that? Like some kind of a machine inside of the ocean there. Is that, where is that? Where is that exactly? Oh, is that around like a North Pole or something? I think. Um, let's, okay, yeah. Let's go back to Earth. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna leave Mars here. It looks like Mars is complete. Um, gonna fly with my dragon. Let's just go with our dragons. Bring all these dragons. So we'll save some of them. Uh, on a Mars to complete whatever has to like there's, there's no issue on Mars at the moment it's a, mm -hmm. actually there's goddesses and, and gods showing up there now like and they're doing some kind of ceremony and it's just um, they're taking people in actually they're taking some like Martians um, into custody it's fine it's, it's all fine let's just see where we're going on our um... I, I've just been told it's funny how you mentioned North Pole because I've been told that's Eden in the uh I'm not religious, by the way. In Bible. And uh, the tree of knowledge is there. The what's there? The tree of knowledge is there, uh, in the North Pole. Oh, I see. It might not be fully there. It might be not down, not knowing what the dark ones do. But we could give that a bit of light. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give that a, a lot of light. I'm really feeling that it's there as well. So that, go, that goes from... Just fine, all the way through the inner, all the way up to the heavens. Yeah, let's tie it into the pyramid network and just bring in the energies of creation. Birth it, birth it. Wow, that's a really high frequency in that tree. I bet you can't see that on Google Earth. I bet it'll have no. a square, square box around it. 
<laughs> yeah. I've been also told that everyone who's watching can have some ease and get that, so we've done all of it. If you want, if you accept it. With the dragons that we connected to. Okay. Got this used to the users tree and all Some kind of a meeting happening right here. Um between the, um, I think this is um, actually, this could be Alaska even. Uh, hold on a sec. Where are we? Who did you bring me? The borders. The borders of Alaska. Okay. You remember what the, remember we broke down that portal a long time ago, that, that draconian portal that was around there? Mm -hmm. Well, they they got some kind of border, energetic border barricading, I guess, like a neighboring um, high vibrational beings. It could even be, they could be even blocking Agartha or they're blocking like beyond Agartha. Like, but let's just take the dragons and destroy this energy barrier yeah. here. Oh, it's like a dome. They put some kind of dome field. Okay, we'll break that out. Got a reactor. They're using reactors. You're going to destroy the reactor. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now there's a ton of density flying out of the reactor area. It was like a base. There's like still a there's still a stronghold. So, okay, they're fleeing. They're all fleeing right now. All these dark ships. We just got to destroy them or bring transmute them into the light. Whatever. Um, they're just trying to escape. They're trying. They're trying to go to other bases. Let's do some trackers. Let's let some of them get, get away to go to these other bases, and we'll follow them in. And then we'll take over those bases too. What if we've been using the tree of knowledge to send you? Some of them are trying to hold the grid up, this whole barrier up. I'm just taking out a couple of ships right at the top of this dome thing here. They're trying to keep it up with their ships, but I'm just going to take them out now and take this barrier down. Listen for all. There we go. It's opening. All right, we're actually getting sunlight in this area. Okay, it's free. It's freed up. There's grids, though. I, uh, I saw that. I felt the wave, actually. It did it. Back away. Energy wave. Yeah. There's little pieces of these technologies on the ground, though. We just, we just transmute it. We get the dragons to eat everything up here, I guess, or, just, or the ships just to collect the debris. Probably going to make the news. Big explosion in Antarctic. <laughs> uh, it was... It was a hot air balloon. Yeah. We've melted the Antarctic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well. Oh, so much I better. You can that. see now. It's, it's infinite. It goes way beyond. There's just... Um, oh. You know who's who's there? There's like these... There's some Lyrans down here. That's so weird. Um, 
it's in that. Okay. I'm going to channel them in a sec. Oh, hold on. I just want to make sure all these other bases are tracking all these other ships and just want to make sure this is done first. I'll come back. They're Lyran Masters. They're Lyran Masters of Light. Uh, they've been here for a very, very long time. They're still here. They never left. These ones have been in here since Atlantis. These ones have lived. It's in a higher frequency past the Alaskan border. Um, these are guardian protectors. Uh, some of the last of their species, they're saying, on, on Earth. Um, so um, they're monitoring, they're working. And yeah. you can only you, you you will only see them if they want you to see them. Like I know I'm still working on the battle scene too, but I'm channeling this liar because it's interesting. Mm. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! So can I like a, a a factory, a plant that's taking the energy from the knowledge, true knowledge, the earth central, yeah. and sending it? So they've been stealing up the energy there. Oh, good. Yeah. I can see that it's ancients that have been doing this. Dark ancients. I always thought we were a battery as well. Wow. Okay, they just brought me into like a Lyran light um, channel of light. Hey, look, there's a Garthens here too. Oh, cool. Um, they're here. Uh, there's a few different species here. This is, what's going on here, guys? What is this? The Outer Rim. He's one controlling the factory status. So we've just got rid of a uh, ancient dark thing. Oh, yeah, no. I really got to get my mind back into the i'm sorry they just brought me into this light so it's like enchantment light um all right i just want to i gotta come back i gotta come back here uh i'm just going to connect to their energies these amazing races i'm just going to ask them what i need to connect to here quickly and i'll come back just connect to the heart energy of love consciousness here and you'll receive all that you need okay bringing it in thank you sending my love all right i gotta go back to help fill out and see what's going on here. I don't know if I've left much for him. <laughs> All right. That ancient building, this ancient building here. Pyramids in them. We're using pyramids to oh, okay. the energy around. Like a limestone pyramid of some kind, is it? Is that yeah, that I think is? we're using that to, to siphon the energy from this uh, ancient, you know, even sort of energy for it. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't really want to destroy a pyramid. No, they reprogram it to the light then. Yeah. Sending sim the symbols again of flower of life, pentagons into, into it to protect it, to give it some protection against uh, being overwhelmed again. If you know. And dragon breath. Dragon breath. Yeah. The dragons are doing as well, I think. All right. I think I've gotten all of the dark fleets, the rest of the dark fleets. The dragons just found them, and I was tracking them all with dragons, let all these bases. There's a couple more, just like like some underwater things we're taking care of, and mountain ranges and stuff. So it's just escorting the last ones out. Oh uh, yeah, they have a network. You're right. So that's 
It's technology, that pyramid. Anyways, let's uh, let's send a beam of light and reprogramming to reprogram and to, to change their frequencies up. Bring a ton of light through that network and basically reprogram their whole network into light. I've just been so focused on bringing massive light light pillars into their whole network everywhere on this planet since the times where they started infiltrating, bringing down Egypt, just purifying everything at the moment, just bringing pure diamond core energy into I can, I, can, I can see the tree of knowledge, knowledge on Earth, 3D, glowing. Uh, yeah. Glowing the first few thousand years. Yeah, I know. I think we're. I think we've solidified this now. So now, what do we got to do with the tree of knowledge? What are you doing with it now? I mean, I don't know what this means. You can tell me. Rebirthing it. What does that mean? Ah. Uh, Kind of like kickstarting it, basically. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get let's feed it up with a ton of light and just give it a supercharge. Yeah. Uh, we're connecting it to the stars, back down to Earth. To the heavens above us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well, it looks like there was another mission left, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> they always say, don't worry about it. There's no more missions. Uh, he's, always, he's always in the hole. Yeah. Well, that was pretty good. He totally reclaimed the Antarctica and North Pole and all the other yeah. ranges across the planet. I act activated the uh, tree noise on Earth, bro. Yeah, and we just rebirthed it. I, I, they tell you things sometimes, and I've got to think twice. What does rebirth mean? <laughs> it's interesting how like rebirth it for the new ascension, the new Earth. Yeah. 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 That was good. That was interesting yeah. with Mars and the inner Mars. That was interesting. Wasn't expecting that. No. Before we go, I think we should send everyone some healing for still being here. For helping us. Yeah. Absolutely, sure. And that we've got probably loads of dragon energy with us. Well, I'm still supercharged from the I'm still supercharged with sanitary buddy right now, healing like Blast everybody. Hmm. Like, it's grounding us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that was a lot of energy. Yeah. That was a lot. Good 
always good to do these ones and then take the dog for a walk. <laughs> I'm always coming after our events. It's always just like there was a moment there where I'm like, wow, this is like a lot of light. I'm, like, I'm gonna probably you're like, probably act you're activating the dog with the lead. All the power's going to, to the earth. But going like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I didn't want to I didn't want to let any of these dark ships go this time. I just wanted to take them all out like and bring mm -hmm. them all to light and just take back the entire network. I just wanted them all gone and this this is it. The final straw. These dark ships. No more. <laughs> <sighs> Now that was cool. What was really cool was seeing Lyrans, Agarthans, and um, who else did I see? Just past the Antarctica, on the, like there's the further lands or whatever. Mm. Like I always heard of those stories. Like I used to, like where the it's, Earth is flat and then there's all this land across. It's the loads Antarctica. of lands, uh, it's loads. Yeah. More than there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the North Pole with the Tree of Life that was interesting. Yeah. So I have to Google after this. Tree of life, no pole. Tree tree of knowledge, not like tree of life, tree of knowledge. Yeah. So just when you have aspects that emerge with you, so they do they say no, that's wrong. You're saying it wrong. <laughs> I know it was so funny too, because there's a moment where I was talking about totally different things than you were talking about because we were doing totally different things. And I was like, <laughs> okay, okay, I'll come back. I gotta come back and help fill out. Okay. I really want to channel these beings, but I have to go back and complete this mission. <laughs> that was fun. Enjoy that. Mm. Yeah. It's great always to connect to the dragons, you know. Are we going to send that dragon energy that we've still got in us to everyone who's watching? Absolutely. God dragon energy. So I'd advise everyone to do deep breath work. Deep breaths into your solar plexus, breathe out and just take the energy if you want it. Okay. Okay. You can do it now. Release our energies. We may no, we're not merging together. I actually got a Metatron's cube came through. So we, we're basically connecting the heavens and the earth. I wonder if that's linked to the tree or not. Ah, it is. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Tree of life, Metatron's cube. I think they're connected. Mm. Everyone got the uh, Metatron's cube, uh, except in that area. It was a lot of light. Mm. Light factory tonight. We brought out the day at the night. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Definitely has its perks liberating the planet. Mm. I mean, we just super cleared everything there. Like, that was just like, that was a big clearing, like a final kind of like a huge mass clearing. And I guess Mars and Earth are connected because, I mean, they brought us to Mars first, I mean, or whatever. Cool, clearly, for the, that reason, that, that was really dense inside of the energies inside of there. It was just, it's like... Uh, it's like, it's how, like our sister like, land, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like, it's like Mars was the butthole and it took the massive dump in the beginning of of density consciousness. And then Earth was more of like 
it still had a little, it was like just a little bit of fertilizer, not nearly what Mars was. <laughs> yeah. But it was still well, a little bit. Yeah, Mars was really in, in the wool, wasn't it? Which, yeah, yeah. The Rang Wars, was... they, got, they got it quite badly. We did, but yes. they got, that's how we lost the Earth, basically. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. That is how they took, they got Mars first, then the Earth. Mm -hmm. But it's like the level of density that came out of Mars, it was literally like flushing a toilet. Like it but was just like. I wanted to belch. And that when you want to belch, the, that can be high density. Yeah, you yeah. got to release. Some people eat when they do that. And like when we were doing that, I did, I started having stomach cramps and stuff like that. Yeah. Definitely but I could tell you one thing I feel so much like everything is so much clear like like everything is so much clear from what we just did like earth Mars our system we literally just like did a massive cleanse so that's yeah. going to make a huge 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 difference he'll probably make a big Schumann spike likely as well maybe like uh, tomorrow or some more. yeah if you haven't had enough ascension energies yet, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. When I, when I pass over, I'll have, you know, like we have subscribers on YouTube, I'll have people that have woken from our journey. <laughs> yeah. 10 million. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that'll be it. That'll be the next race. You're always trying to get more subscribers than me. <laughs> like, uh, I got to get more people awakened than him. I gotta, I gotta work. I gotta work more. I gotta work more. <laughs> well, the, the more people awake, and the easier they take over the the more light is easier. Yeah. Well, Mr. Phil, um, I think I'm gonna take the dog out for a walk, ground a little, little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you for that. Well, Thanks for inviting me. Quarter past one here. Uh, yeah, nothing like being high on light at quarter past one a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right. minus it's minus whatever here at the moment it's awful. yeah yeah you yeah, actually colder than we are that's different that's different i think we're like plus plus one or something like that mm. i haven't got an heated blanket on me flat <laughs> yeah he was all nestled up when we first started and just looked all cozy and warm <laughs> And he's like, I gotta like, I gotta take it down for the viewers. I gotta hide the nice warm blanket I that I got. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Whatever works. Mm, exactly. Heat up the energy when you go to Mars. Got to heat it up. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And we're working with dragons. They're yeah. fire, right? They they were like they were like star dragons. As you said, they were from the stars. Yeah. They looked like the sparkles of. Stars on them—it's quite amazing. But different colors. colors. So it's like a rainbow dragon, but not like my aspect. It's part rain, part crystal, part. Yeah, they look fully diamond sort of thing. Different colors, diamond. Quite amazing. Yeah, yeah it was cool. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you later. I'll see everybody who's watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe Phil's channel. For more amazing content to come. <laughs> yeah, this won't be the last one. There's always something to do. Yeah. All right, perfect. Big, big right, job. Was... Yeah, good job. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, have a good day. Enjoy your walk with the dog. Thanks. Well, I also got to check on the kids and all this other stuff. But yeah. yeah, what did they eat tonight with your elf, elfy food? I had... Um... Made lemon potatoes, um, plant based sausages. I um, mean, they're very spicy. Is this like mushroom sausages? <laughs> it tastes like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, and then I made a um, squash soup and then some salad. Yeah, I, I went to an Icarus at my daughter's birthday. Uh -huh. And uh, I had Icarus, it's like an American in it, so it was a Icarus. So I, I had all healthy food. Yeah, well, I mean, 
I think right now we got to eat healthy. That's just like, mm. there's just so much energy and mm. got to eat light, healthy, and just, um, otherwise it's, it's going to be difficult to like integrate everything, you know? Mm. Yeah. And it's good anyways. I mean, we're reversing an age. We got to start looking like 18 again, remember? So can't do that by eating junk food. That's for sure. Yeah, it was a pleasure as always. We'll see you on the yeah. next next time, and we'll just keep in touch. We won't take a couple of months next time. Yeah. Or maybe like a couple of days, a couple of days. All right, brother. Thank Love you. you. Thanks everyone watching. And Thanks, thank everybody. you. Okay. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.